It's January 2024, and Forza Motorsport still does not work on Steam Deck. Or does it? Stay tuned. This video is brought to you by my awesome sponsors. Make sure to check out the affiliate links in the description below. Thanks again for all the support. Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Matt and welcome to the Steam Deck once again. And as the title states, we are focusing on, yes, once again, Forza Motorsport. I have installed Windows on a Steam Deck to, eh, kind of mediocre results. But would you like to play Forza Motorsport in 1080p 60? Well, as you can tell here, I haven't actually installed it on Steam Deck. And the reason is, if we click on that weird kind of code name of a thing, it says stream. So basically what we're doing today, as the title states, is we're going to try out Forza Motorsport in remote play from a normal PC to a Steam Deck. So if you guys have watched any other YouTube video regarding remote play or streaming or anything like that on YouTube, the main kind of process that they recommend is that if, you know, first of all, you take your main streaming PC and you connect it to your router via ethernet, no if, ands, or buts. And ideally, you take your receiving remote play PC and you also connect it via ethernet to the router because that is the strongest connection. It's the most stable. You're not gonna have as many drops. So I decided to take that information and say, let's not do any of that and let's do the worst case scenario. So if you're not using ethernet, these other um, information YouTubers have also made mention that you should stay on the same Wi-Fi network. We're also not doing that today because for whatever reason, my streaming PC decides that it doesn't like 5G. So here are kind of the numbers that you're going to get with both the Steam Deck and my stream PC. Now, this isn't going to be for all streaming PCs or all steam decks your network connection is going to vary drastically via what router you have what internet provider you have what internet service within whatever data plan you have with said internet provider so these are the numbers that are specific to me so back to the steam deck we'll go to forza motorsport we go to this drop down we go down to msi i7 9700k atx and we hit stream and here we are. Again, like I said, we're now playing Forza Motorsport on the Steam Deck. So, as you can tell, obviously, there are a couple of big caveats. Is that you have to be on an internet connection. It has to be stable. So, it's no real different than a PlayStation Portal at this point. Which is a little bit unfortunate, but... If you really, 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 really want to play Forza Motorsport on your Steam Deck, it is possible. So the other thing that we'll do here is latency. I don't have any scientific ways of being able to test how fast or slow the latency is, apart from just comparing the recordings. In all honesty, with this kind of latency, it's... I, I can't even guess what it is. It's within a few milliseconds. Yes, it's ideal to be as close as possible for a racing game. If you're playing an RPG game at 30 frames a second, this little bit of latency isn't going to matter. It's just a tiny bit much for racing games, but I think we'll probably be all right. So I have tried this in a different setting where I was streaming from a computer that is upstairs. We're actually in our basement right now. So I was streaming from a computer upstairs on the 5G network down to the router here in the basement back upstairs also on the 5g network to the steam deck and i had zero stutters the bit rate looked pretty good i had no audio tearing or anything here's the interesting thing is since just doing a little bit of this you can tell that there are some some frame drops as we're now getting our little warning there 
Uh, oof. Big oof there. <laughs> like I said, this is basically as worst case scenario as we're possibly going to be able to get. And apparently being on a slightly different network has massive implications here, especially if your significant other is upstairs watching Markiplier as we speak. So I just... Try to listen to people who know what they're talking about, it turns out. That's from some pretty good advice. All right, I think I learned my lesson. So, what we've done now... So I've actually, as you saw with that montage, grabbed my Ethernet cable, plugged it in from my router to my PC. So, this is the difference that we're going to get in speeds. Ah, yeah, much better. Yeah, look at that. That's that's much improved. <laughs> so here we are back with the Steam Deck. Nothing's changed with the Steam Deck. So now we're going to hit stream. See if this is any better. All right, we're back again, finally. <laughs> and the thing that I've noticed so far, actually, is before I was so focused on just the frame rate and the fact that it was cutting out so badly. Now being able to take the time and listen to, I'll be honest, the really cool ethereal music. You can actually hear like some artifacting in, in like some of the stream. It's, it's, you can definitely tell that it's just slightly lower quality than what you're used to. Now, if you're playing this out of your Steam Deck speakers, you're not going to notice crap like that. But if you have some good quality headphones, you're you're probably going to notice that if you're really, 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 really closely paying attention. So again, we're going to do what we did before. Latency test. I don't know. It seems about the same. All right, and here we go. We are back on Spa de Frankishaw. How many different ways can I pronounce this circuit's name? <laughs> and it's fine, weirdly enough. It's like when you listen to people who know what they're talking about, it's like you have a better experience. I was thinking that the, the download speed of the streaming PC didn't really matter. I think that there's a whole host of other things going on at the same time. But, uh, yeah, this is much, 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 much improved. Now, that being said, because I am on a 1080p monitor, the thing that I am noticing is that there's quite a bit of visual, I'll call it compression. So it's kind of like watching like some of those uh, Game Awards streams. Um, or the Game Awards stream where it was like in 1080p or whatever. You could tell that the YouTube compression was really doing a number on it type thing. And because you've got this scaled up to a larger screen, you can definitely tell that it's got kind of like the same compression issue going on. To be honest, if you were playing this on your Steam Deck screen itself in handheld mode, if you look closely enough, you might be able to kind of tell. But of course, that's also in a completely different resolution. So, I don't know. I just make sure that you are on the same network. If not doing everything Ethernet, if you can. Because, yeah, it, this is completely night and day difference so I'll go back to say it I am playing Forza Motorsport on a Steam Deck so if you also want to play Forza Motorsport on a Steam Deck if you have gone ahead and installed Windows on the SSD not, not the SD card but on the SSD you will have a really good offline experience, but I also don't think that you can play this game offline either, which is a little bit annoying. So 
if you're going to play it online, you might as well not screw around with your Steam Deck's operating system. Just leave it on Steam OS and play it remote play. That way you're also not having to potentially hit data caps of having to download 130 gigs. So I will take some of this back. I am noticing a little bit of latency and I think it's more on the audio side. So here we are. Yeah, that's like a solid half a second of audio delay there. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty bad. <laughs> but I mean, visually speaking, I don't... I can tell that there was a just a minute amount of input lag. And if you're playing this game across the room on a TV or whatnot, you wouldn't think it's any different than like playing it natively on an Xbox or whatnot. You think it's just kind of like the fact that you're on a Bluetooth controller and the fact that it's just wireless per se is part of the input lag. So I mean it is what it is. But I think at the same time, too, if you're streaming the game, I think people who are streaming are have a tendency to just be a little bit more accepting of what it is. Where they realize where it's like, hey, you know, I'm not playing this game natively. I understand that it's got to go from my PC to the router, to the device of choice I'm trying to get it to. So yeah, there's going to be a little bit of input like the fact that we're in the same second in my mind means that we've made a ginormous leap from the Steam Link, which I do remember when I was trying that out years ago. That was really cool in theory, but it being on the second floor of my, well, on the first floor of my parents' house, going to the router in the basement and then having to go back up to my computer in my room for all those things to connect to one another. It just... It seemed like that the input lag was really bad for a racing game. So like I said, the fact that Valve has made some improvements with their streaming technology to have a little bit lesser of latency is really cool to see. And I think it is... Honestly, like I've been saying, I think this is the way to play Forza Motorsport now on the Steam Deck. It's just, we all have internet. And if you're playing on Steam Deck, you know, most cases you're playing at home on your couch. Yes, there are situations where, I mean, you could be commuting. You could be going to a friend's house who is refusing to give you their Wi-Fi password or, you know, you just have a not very stable connection. As we could tell earlier, that's definitely an issue that you can have. But at this point, I'm kind of rambling on. If you enjoyed this video, you know, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Again, I am superbly happy we finally got this running on the Steam Deck. I've been playing this a lot in the last couple of weeks. So hopefully this is renewing interest for the very select few who have purchased this game who also have a Steam Deck to maybe try it out yourselves. Like I said, I'm enjoying it myself. I hope you guys are too. So again, thanks so much for watching. Hope you guys have a great day today. Take care. Bye.